talking about web services. Web that is a piece of software or long based protocol. It is used to perform particular tasks and it is that uh, it's a com uh, interface between the say, client and server applications on the net. It can be invoked either directly or indirectly to provide some uh, services to that app. And www means it's a worldwide web. So we almost think everything is same. Both are things are same. Uh, www on the internet also same, but they have some uh, differentiations. So, worldwide work was created by Timothy Berlin's niece in Geneva. And uh, that uh, it is a collection of information assessed from the net that is a worldwide work. And internet means it's a network of networks, a network of network connections among the system that is internet. Worldwide work means we are getting the information through the net. And uh, it comprises of computers, uh, copper wires, I think. And World Wide Web uh, is the information. Uh, so it is uh, files, folders, and stored in the computer. And Internet is governed by Internet Protocol. And World Wide Web is governed by the Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Internet is based, is independent of World Wide Web. And worldwide web is depend on the internet because through the internet only you are getting the information. Architectures, there is a two tier architectures as a two, uh, two way communications. Uh, there are two things web server and web browsers. So, web browser is a client, okay. It's uh, getting the information server and display the informations in the web pages. Web browser example, uh, Mozilla, Chrome, Opera, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome thing. And web server means to transfer the information to the. So to display the web pages, we need a language that is a hypertext markup language. Define the structure and uh, display the content in the web page through the web browser and it is created by searching Berners Lee late 1991 not released officially that time and later 1995 only it was uh, published with the versions HTML 2.0 and the structure of HTML is first start with HTML tag and it has the two parts head and body Head has the sub tag uh, title to display the title of page and body tag contain that all the uh, display the contents in the web page. So body tag has no text. If you want to display any content in the web page, that content should be placed between the body tag. And uh, so how we can execute a HTML documents? We have to type the HTML in any one text editor, example notepad, type and save the file name with the extension .html. If you save with that HTML extension, then only it is considered as a HTML file. And next, just open that in the uh, any one web browser, then it will be run. So few tags we can see. So command uh, we can give command it not be shown in the web pages just for user understand you can see that an anchor tag is to uh, navigate one page to another page fold for bolding text and body body tag inside only what are the things we want to display in the web page we can give the body tag PR for break the next line center display the content. font tag is used to uh, give the color for text and set the font style and size also we can set and font tag form tag only is display that uh, the text field button all the controls we can see you can design the form in a web page see we are seeing uh, registration form login form so everything we can create it through the form tag h1 for heading tag and hr for display the horizontal lines for that attribute set with this is a width of that lion and color size also we can set length and 
HTML is a root tag. That's a parent tag. We must open uh, HTML file with the HTML tag only. It's a must. Head also is optional, but body is must because the content display through the body tag only. I for italic style and IMG tag image tag for display the image in the an input tag. See if you are giving type, we go to text image to display the text uh, box. Submit means it will come the submit button. And if you are giving type, we go to password means it will come the password box. And you want to uh, uh, use the multi line text, we have to use the text area control. For that, you have to use text area. Instead of input, we should use text area. And wrapping how much you have to wrap it and uh, rows and column the size also you can give and uh, some uh, sometimes you want to uh, list out country name state name in the particular form in this case we have to use that uh, selection box in uh, the language they will uh, say this is a combo box so in this case we have to use select option tag Next, checkbox and radio button. See, uh, you want to select any one answer. For example, gender category, you want to choose either male or female. So in this case, we have to use the radio button. So radio button type equal to Q uh, is equal to radio should Q. And we want to select more than one item. See, for example, uh, you want to uh, order the food through online. Not only one foot, we will order more than one item. We will order. So, in this case, we have to use a check box instead of radio button. So, for that input type, equal to check box should be given. And then, list. Sometimes you want to list out some things in our page. We have to use list li uh, tag, list item. But we want to give that either uh, Roma letters, order Roma letters, or uh, numbers, or alphabet. We must use the tag OL order list and type equal to if you are giving I means it will come in the Roman letter small means it come in small case we give capital means it will come in capital letters and if you are giving the number means a number wise and also start attribute is used to start with this some number so the order list start with number five capital letter small letter also we can use it and on order an order list means uh, instead of OL, we can give UL. See, order list, it will come a number wise, order, Roman wise, or letter, letter wise, order it's come. But an order means only it's come uh, bullet style, it will come either square or uh, uh, circle, it will come. Paragraph or here, an order list, if I give type, uh, this means it's come like that. Nothing, it will come. And the circle means it will come inside. If you are giving type with a square, means square will come. And uh, you want to uh, strike out the text, means can you strike and strong for little bit uh, letter will be uh, bold. And you want to display the table in the web page, we should use the table tag and forward by the table, of, uh, table border size. And cell spacing means between this, the space between the cells. Cell padding means the space around the cells. Within the cells, how much space is you need? That is a cell padding. Cell spacing means the space between the cells. And you can set background color, anything. And TR for creating the row. And TD table data inside the row. Okay, we want to place the data means that is TD tag we have to use. Table header, we can use a TH table header tag. And next, extensible markup language. It is a user defined uh, language. And encoding format uh, for encoding our documents, we have to use this language. And it will be available in both human readable and machine readable format. It is uh, platform independent, that means it support for any OS. And also, it is a language independent also. And then, what is the main advantage of this language is to take our data from that any program and convert it into 
XML then SAR with its other program. Generally, one format to another format is transfer is very difficult. But XML using XML, we can transfer that uh, SQL content. Okay, SQL content convert into XML and then we can share to any other uh, app, Python or any app. We can transfer. So this is the main advantages of extensible markup language. Structure of uh, see in our HTML structure is a HTML head next body, and here also has a structure. Three things involved: style sheet. So define the content, the color size, everything, and grammar is an optional one. Yeah, it's just to define the rules for that uh, document. And XML file is important. Uh, how that HTML file is saved with .html. Likewise, XML file also open any Notepad uh, editor and then uh, type the content and save with the file name .xml. Next, we can open in the anyone. So, for preparing the XML documents, we need XML. Um, the document has two parts that is a prolog and data instance required. So, it contains actual data, and prolog means it contains that uh, XML commands or the declaration of that particular program. And style sheet is required uh, for uh, coloring the text and resetting that uh, size and aligning the text. Everything come under the style sheet. And link, link tag uh, should be uh, required to link the XML file with the style sheet. Then only it will be neatly represented. In so see example. So we are going to uh, display this content using the XML file. See our motherboard and TF after monitor displayed with the subcontents. So how we created this one in XML? Just to open the note. Then, so the first to indicate a prolog uh, style straight linking and uh, see the root tag parent tag is pods and uh, sub tag title right to show that is a title and parts part also on subroot tag and it has many sub tag spot name manufacturer model cost so in xml okay if we are anyone tag is open we must close it properly also and also it is very case sensitive see parts open with the uh, uppercase and close with the uh, small case means it will show the error it's a case sensitive language. HTML is insensitive. We can give a lower case in open tag, uh, upper case in closing tag. There is not issue in HTML. So state state is linked. As a content data instance, the tags fully is a content. So you have seen the right uh, style sheet is a part of CSS. That's also open notepad and just uh, Save with file name with extension dot CSS. That in then cascade style sheet CSS cascade style sheet. It will save the style sheet format. It's used to see the tag, everything parts, the title, part, part name, everything is a tag. And inside the tag, what are the content? Okay, how it should be formatted that we can give font, weight, color, everything can give display black and it's display the same line. After you uh, saving the file, just you open the browser and you can see that output of XML. And these are the difference between the HTML language and XML language. So XML is extensible markup language and HTML is a hypertext markup language. And XML is user different. We can create our own tag, but HTML we can't create our own tag. All tags are free defined. So we, uh, it's a structure. We should provide information example. It does not contain any structure information, and it is case sensitive and HTML is insensitive. And HTML for just representing the data, displaying the just displaying the data, and XML used for transfer the informations. 
errors uh, here it's not allowed example i said no errors uh, open tag it in upper case closing with in small letters means it will show the error okay it won't if there is error means page will not be displayed but html does not consider the error anything and it will be display white space all preserved and not preserved there and you are must compulsorily we have to close the tag if it is open we must close in xml html there is no rule in set some tags or parallel sort tag also available in html so nested tag so root next uh, child means first inner child we have to close next we have to root tag should be closed this must be compulsory in that xml but html is not necessary root uh, open and then uh, close first child that's not a